Hey everybody, welcome back to The Rock Hugger. Uh, I just want to welcome you today and I hope I can earn your subscribe. Uh, this is going to be a little video on my self-made lapidary tool. So you can see this thing is kind of built with uh, a little bit of everything. You know, what I found, what I had. There's a few things I had to buy, but um, we'll kind of cover that here in a few and give you a little demo. Uh, there we go. Alright. So the way that I got this set up, I basically started with an old water transfer pump motor. Um, it was a Harbor Freight motor and it just kind of fell apart so I just used the actual motor, took the motor mount and bolted it to a piece of wood at a 45. Uh, at that point I kind of found all the different adapters and different pieces like the Arbor adapter to make the, uh, the motor mount fit to it. and. Uh, all those little things kind of, you know, it cost me about 50 bucks other than just kind of the bucket I cut up and some of the decking and stuff I used for our bathroom. Um, buying these lapidary polish grinder pads and these things, you know, you get 150 grit, 1000 uh, grit, and a 3000 grit. By the way, I apologize for the mess. Um, haven't had time to clean up lately. Really haven't been using this machine um, since I got this water tank upgraded. That was kind of the last thing that I did before kind of the, the baby was born. So it was really just kind of focused on cutting a bunch of stones and tumbling some stuff to make a, some stuff from Etsy shop. But this is kind of what I use for my hand use um, when I want to work on something unique, a little bit different. If I want to work on it a little bit quicker and get it done within, you know, two hours, I can polish a stone up. So this thing was a self-created beast that I had in my mind and, and I, I brought it to life and it actually has been working for about five, six months, fell apart a couple times, but I've tightened it back up and added some glue with, with some of the bolts to hold it together from, from rattling. It's pretty sound now and hasn't had any problems in about four months, so I'm happy with it. Um, you know, it cost me 50 bucks in parts. That's really not that bad considering these things cost five, six hundred dollars. You know, if you want to buy one brand new off Amazon or whatever, support local though. Um, different companies make these locally I just decided to make one and I appreciate it so here we go let's go ahead and go through some of the features uh, I got a water pump with this water reservoir uh, just from like an old beef jerky tube uh, the pumps hiding down here of course so you got kind of gravity feed with it helps kind of feed the pump um, which comes up to here with a little bit of copper and uh, this just kind of helps bend it into place where you want the water to drop. Also helps kind of disperse the droplets. This little screw helps adjust the water feed for if you want less or more water. Usually more. <laughs> more is better. So, cool thing about this, I had an old fan um, component. And this thing, it was basically controls the variable of speed. So I'll show you. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Um, you can start it out slow. And as you adjust this knob you'll see that this thing kind of cranks up. Now I don't have I don't have any water on this. And I should probably stop this, but let's go ahead and turn the water on and just uh, give you a little demo of how this thing kind of works. So. so I was trying to wait for that motor to wind down a little bit so we could hear. I didn't want that buzz and everything and rattling. So, so what I got here is just a little piece of flex tubing and it drips into here to kind of keep my water system clean on the blade. Um, I change this out every so often basically it takes you know two of these to really fill that. I don't fill it full but um, so yeah basically what you do I'm this thing's winding down so I'm not going to do too much but you kind of just work the stone on it and that will soften the edge bring out some of the divots and so forth. Um, these were cut, I don't know what I'm quite doing with them yet, so I don't want to ding it up too much, but you can really kind of see that it takes some of the the roughness off the edges, so if I want to take the you know little imperfections off of my slabs, I can kind of just clean them up, like so. Uh, it kind of brings the edge down a little bit, see if I can get that to focus. This thing works for me. I mean, if you feel confident in your engineering, if you can build something, by all means do it. Um, it's way more rewarding, you know, to be able to engineer something and figure it out yourself and 
and have it work. <laughs> so this was just going to be a short video. I'm not going to keep you here too long. So uh, if you stuck around, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.